I bought I that with my money. Far. I ain't go that far. <laughs> I got Cry Mob, the real shit. I got I got Nuck of You Buck on CD. That we Compact have Dex. on a computer, on a hard drive somewhere that John lost. But he says it's in his house. Yo, why was it doing like John at the homecoming, yo? Yo, I do not know. <laughs> Lately, a lot of people. You know what I'm talking like about, John. right? Yeah, I know what I'm like, about. I'm like, J- hey, you too nah. young. You over? Know, you don't look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the shades on. I'm like, you look, nah, man. You, I know you. Look, I know you. I know black don't crack, but you too shout smooth. Out, shout out to my boy. <laughs> shout out to my brother John, man. Yeah, nah, shout out to John, gang, guy, gang, man. You know what it is. Love is love. Hey guys, you man, my style, K Styles, baby, look, K Monty Merlo, Styles, man, back corner, take sometimes style, Styles, all right, like. Blau, fall back, you know that one time, and one time, person could size one stop. Sock daddy, always how to cut the motherfucking file. Monty, take that out. You know what it is. Um, guys, back for the second time, you know. I'm in. King Booby, B U B I, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> don't put no O's in that hey, shit. Hey, wait, only, only Booby we know with the O's is Gibson. That's, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're going to do here. Let's be real here. But welcome back, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you. For having me. Adidas sweated out right now. We got the glow in the dark fucking lights on right now. I'm nigga chilling, just man. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm in a great Cozy. space. Birthday weekend just passed. Oh yeah, birthday. Nah, Listen, man. happy belated. Happy Thank belated. You. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm just I'm feeling good, feeling blessed. Libra ties. Are you Libra? Um, I am. You know, I don't give a fuck about none of I that know. shit. I know. Listen, I know you too. You too much of a man. You too much of a man to to believe that shit. Like nigga, I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that. I don't have the time to believe in stuff that I could go right up myself and tell you today's your day, Listen. and then I could compare it to another. Oh no, sign. no, we we don't care about the daily horoscopes, but like overall, I don't know. Sometimes it should be matching up. Them trades be matching up sometimes. Like you know, to say Pis- Pisces well, is artistic right and. Two times a day. I mean, listen. And you give anybody time and the internet. I must, I must be reading so. the broken cocks then, because <laughs> yeah, they be your point. But no, I, I feel you. I feel you. Listen, your your life is your life. Everybody ain't the same. Yeah. No, no I one individual is the same anything. whatsoever. You know, you could be you could be born from that same parent. Y'all ain't the same. Facts. I got siblings. So yeah. You know, facts. How many siblings you got? Ten. Ten. Why you say it like that? Are you you, you discounting somebody? <laughs> You taking somebody off the roster? <laughs> you bitch, nigga. You bitched. Nah, nah, nah. It ain't that. It ain't that. But yes, I, I, I got ten siblings. Oh uh, uh, man, that's a big family. Yeah, oh, please. So they all, everybody in New Jersey? Nah, mostly New York. Okay, mostly New York. Some sprinkled, uh, sprinkled in the uh, DMV area. Yeah. Boston. Listen, Texas. I ain't I ain't from New York, but I'm born in New York, and I got a New York hat on my head, so that's kind of why we went to went this route with the music. That's all I could think of myself. The only thing that was different was that Marvin Gaye, because I'm like, that sample is there. Though. I need that sample. Well, Marvin Gaye, <laughs> and I love just, Marvin. You know, you know, one of the goats. Nigga so. was singing on the uh, on the couch, <laughs> recording, <laughs> punching in on the couch, with a bad chilling. Chick beside him, so I mean, you man. know, you know, you're, that's that's already I mean, that's that's not to be played you know. with, but. But welcome back, man. It is freaking fall, October, gang, gang. Listen, Let's get spooky it. season is among us. I don't know if you're a Halloween person or not, or whatever. Like, you know, Halloween. You, you you dress up or I mean, what you do? Over the years, I have. Um, but you and you and your wife though, you gonna go out, whatever you gonna, you know. Nah, we've done it over the years. This year, I think we plan on doing it again. Pairing the costumes together, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gonna? I know you are gonna fab it. It's funny we still, we said fab. Fab is the, <laughs> you know, fab is the Halloween man. I ain't gonna go that far. Cause I don't really give a fuck that much. <laughs> it's just more so it's something fun. I oh, know I get you. I get you. It's fun for her. Yeah. And I'm not opposed to fun. So shit. you're not opposed. You Listen, do it, that's fuck it. I that's a beautiful it. asset to have. It's a beautiful attribute Man. to have. I ain't opposed to fun. I just want to have a good Man. time. You want to do it? Let's do chill. it. Chill. That's why. Listen. That's actually what I enjoy about my girl. Shout out to you, baby. Um, she is just be down. <laughs> just chill. Yo, real and live shit. life. Whatever you know. Like she gonna go with it. I'm like I. I'm not gonna abuse this. <laughs> But I'm happy you you down for the ride most right. most times. It's very, like she's told me no a couple times, but it's very small, you know, and far far and few get between. Nose, of course, but yeah, you know. of course. But you know, and I want her to be herself, and she is all the time. But it's nice to have somebody just to roll with you. Like I'm down for whatever, and I'm like cool. And I told her, I told actually told her the other day, I'm like, everybody got the family. Everybody gonna have their family. They gonna have people to lean on. Whether you fuck with your family or not, you are gonna have your family. Your family gonna right. be there. Everybody got their shit, but. At the end of the day, I want my significant other to be. It's me against the world. It's us against the world. Us, yes. Like that's that's what I want us to be. I want it to always be us against the world. Whoever I'm with, you know, we could go through all kind of problems, whatever. But like, as long as we good, everything is straight. So I I I told everyone that. Yeah. From parents to friends. 
none of y'all none of them listen her. no no <laughs> listen or not it's said yeah yeah, yeah yeah whether you got it or not it's not my problem right 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 it. it's so not it's not for me to, for you to comprehend it's not for yes yeah. get it on how you get it right but this lady's number one mm-hmm. for any of you so if that's violated then i'm violated if i'm violated then it's a violation that's coming your way by all costs you have a very um Forceful personality, though, like uh, in that in that regard. Why are you saying like, I, 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 I feel like you're not gonna like. Ain't no people gonna challenge you on that. Don't gonna, play with my lady. I mean, son. you should not. But I, you you made it say like I remember one time. Uh, shout to Diamond Gang Gang. We was in uh, Philly, and uh, it just be mannerism sometimes. Like I, I ain't the most forceful person in the world. Whatever, I don't think so. But I I don't. Strangers know not to fuck with me. <laughs> got you. Like I got you. I keep I keep that, you know, ain't an ice grill, but like, you know, I'm not really for play play right now. Like, you know, Unfuck you don't know what I, you don't know what I could do. I, I I probably I might not even be able to fight you. <laughs> but you would not know that. Because the the first thing the first line of defense is your face is who you are. So one time this is probably around quarantine time when like South Street was kinda of fucked up, it was closed, and we went to this one bar and I was with the, uh, my uh, my friend Diamond. And uh, she went to the bathroom real quick, and I'm like, now I gotta, I gotta play save a seat at the bar and shit. And like, I kind of like just, I just, I was sitting down, just like pulled the other chair next to like just enclose it so niggas don't try to take it out. And I ain't say nothing, but I just did that small maneuver. And then I, right. I can't. Then she came out, and you know, women are a little more nice. She's like, oh, you sitting here? And the guy was like, nah. He made it very clear that somebody sitting there. <laughs> And without even saying a fucking word, he made it very clear that nobody should sit there. Right. <laughs> and sometimes it's how you do. You play defense with the world, you know. You got protect. You got you got protect your canvas. You got to protect um, your canvas at all times. Wherever you walk, wherever you you put your space in, whoever's around you should be protected as well. Especially when it comes to women. So if I could ride for my boy at all times, why can't I ride for my lady? Like, yeah. don't disrespect. Like, well, speaking of, listen, let's not even miss a segue, man. You just had a wedding, man. That's <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Two of them, to be exact. Two of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> Two time on them. Okay, wow. I will do something well, not die. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah, you did have two of them quick. <laughs> yeah, back to back. It's two side layers in a row, man. Listen, hey. outside looking in, you know, I was like, you know, the first one, I'm like, okay, you got, you got your... It's very heritage, you know. You got, you know, got your cultural. Everything is, you know, the vibe is a vibe. You know, you got your. I don't even know what you call them. I, I don't, don't want to be disrespectful. What do you call like the? In our like, in our country, we call them Asho bees. Asho bees. Asho bees. Okay. So I mean, like I saw, yeah, everybody, and I, I appreciate your friends too dressing up too. It's like, oh, yeah. well, we going. That was huge. Like that them, was great. Them, did you did you know that? they were gonna do that? They actually wanted to. Okay. So how we was going to do it was just going to be us two yeah. and like my family, of course. But everyone that got an invite mm-hmm. kept asking if it was okay. And I'm like, oh, they, it's totally that's, okay. That's nice though. They didn't want to be just, like, disrespectful. Right. You know? I'm like, it's totally okay. Go get y'all things done up. Right. And come be a part of the culture. Come look nice. Like, yeah. Come enjoy this for what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just come and just feel like you're, you know, imposing. Don't play the wall. Like, we yeah. party. Right, right, right. The ceremony was only forty minutes. Yeah, we party. The, right. The ceremony is short. We party. Right. Just you gotta stay still fly. for thirty minutes. Then we gonna be out here eating appetizers, shaking. You like ass. fabric. You like colors. Why not? And you can. And what? When was it? What day? What day was that? The first one was uh, September second. So the weather was good. Weather was nice. Yeah. Didn't rain or nothing. Yeah. Labor Day. Um. Labor, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. Mm-hmm. So it was. It was lovely. That's was, what I was in D.C. That's what it was. I think I was going three hundred people. Time. Yeah. You know, it was lit, man. Home cooked meals, food from Can't miss Seoul. That. Like, <laughs> now I just came back from a wedding myself. Whatever, we're gonna talk about it. But um, that's why I want to bring the segue here. But and I'm, I'm I, I made it. I, I asked this jokingly, but I'm curious to how you feel. How many weddings have you been to? I've been to quite a few weddings yeah. in my life. Yeah. Do you feel like it is? This this should be one answer. But do you feel like? It is tacky to bring Tupperware to you. <laughs> it's very tacky. And to take it a step further, if I saw it, I would have kicked you out. Personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I've never done that before. Yeah, that's crazy. I haven't seen it done, but like it, it was, it was a thought in my head of just like you know, you just start thinking of other people, and their mind says, "I'm like, yo, it's, it's all this food here. You ain't gonna eat it all. Nah, this is nah, gonna go to waste." Nah, I'm not doing that. 
<laughs> See, for me, it, it, it hit different because culturally. Yeah, I would not do that. I'll just be clear. As an African <laughs> culturally, that's what they do at any function. Yeah. Some family members, right, 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 some right, friends right. of the family come in and before everyone even gets to eat, they sneak in the kitchen. I don't like that. Pans. I don't like that. But for me, I don't that, like that. That whole culture of doing that, yeah. even if you do it at the end. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let the people who are hosting mm-hmm. say we decide have to for take you our to plates for y'all to take yeah. this shit. Don't be out here trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. come to the kitchen and take food. Yeah. I'm not with none of that. Yeah, I don't nah. do that shit with family or friends. Do you have to kick it? Do you have to kick anybody out the wedding? We got to kick people out the kitchen. Okay. So what happened was we were still at the hotel, um, getting dressed, you know, taking our pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting word that at the wedding people are doing some. You know, yeah. trying to take some food shit, you know what I mean? Mm. Blase, blase. And none of us are there to, you know. To regulate. To regulate. Had mm. I been there, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, wish I would have called you. I wish I would have called you. I wish I would have called you. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have called you. And then when yeah. I got there, I didn't have time because things were planned. I had to do certain things. Yeah. Pictures all day, uh-huh. tiring. By the way, dog. People don't understand that pictures. So I was in this wedding that I was just that I just came from, and I'm yeah. like, and my girl like, and she already told me she's like, I'm being annoying with these pictures. I'm like, I get it, you know. She, I'm like, dog. I'm tired. I don't want to like y'all. Wanna, let's get up and dance. Like, I'm like, yo, I am tired. I've been it's been two days really, <sighs> rehearsal and then this. I got. I know. I like my 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 feet hurt immediately as I was like in the line. It was good the whole time. When I was in the line standing watching them do the vows. I'm like. Dog, I know I'm just looking through like a wall right now. Like I'm looking, I'm looking straight ahead. I posted a picture not like moving, that. <laughs> not breaking a sweat, and, and, and it was wife. hot. <laughs> me and my wife took a picture. Yeah, and we obviously in the picture were furious. Mm. And I posted it with the "Leave me alone" because <laughs> that's how we legit felt. Yeah, like leave me alone, leave me alone. And then at a time, people started just walking up and assuming that we were picture ready. Uh, Our dinner's in front of us. They was running to you in the corner. Like, let me get this off you real quick. They was we, doing all that. We're sitting at the table about to eat. Yeah. And we got the backdrop behind us. Yeah. So everyone well, started to you got You got to put that stuff. You got to like play that, put it on the ground floor. Like I know, like I just came from, congratulations to my dad. He just got remarried. Um, Shout out to him, man. You know, I'm his son. My mother's my mother. Man. I ain't going to get too deep into details whatever, but I like. I get it, bro. But y'all gotta understand that I was the most emotional person in that room. <laughs> yes, it's a lot to fucking deal with. It's a lot to, a lot to um even. It's a lot of layers to even comprehend. Peel. Yeah, yeah. A lot of layers to peel. Yeah. Um, you know, so that on that top of everything, it was raining. My mom, my mom was the rain. <laughs> So I, I sent a picture about there you go. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But um That's crazy. And it was a it, it was a cool time, but like yeah, it was just like so many just it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Man. Was a lot. And like so yeah, by the time we sat I just want to sit down and eat and chill. I want to drink. That's all I really wanted to do for the most part. You know, but yeah, them them pictures be serious sometimes. And then sometimes you don't know what you're doing, you're just waiting. Like after the ceremony done, you waiting. You know, everybody's like they taking little. All right, all right. We need the the bridesmaids over here. Okay, we need we need the bride and groom over here. We and we just wait in the corner. Like, are we gonna get called? Can we go eat? Like, what are we doing? So, but I but I say that to say that like one of the things was don't take pictures during the ceremony. So I feel like maybe you could put some some word some words down like yeah, no pictures over here when we eat in. Put your fucking phone down, <laughs> like things of that nature. So with that, some people don't listen. <laughs> but, I'm gonna tell you, African people don't listen. Mm, they don't care what you're doing. This, Africans, this is my time. Majority of them move off seniority. Yeah, age is everything. If I'm your auntie, I'm your uncle, I'm your this, I'm your that. Yeah, what you say is heard. Uh-huh. Some will respect it. Yeah, some will respect. Some it. will not respect it, uh-huh. and then take a first a further step. They don't care how you feel if you don't like that the fact that they don't respect it. They don't care. They feel they they're care. old. Mm-hmm. They're until old until you tell them. A lot of entitlement. No. A lot of entitlement. And my wife did that to one of my favorite cousins. Funny story. Mm. People are coming up to us. Yeah. Lining up as the food is here. Uh-huh. One like couples come in. We taking pictures now. I'm smiling. You know me. Of course. I'm outside. We yeah. taking shots. Yeah, ah, ah, we just walked in. Like, I mean, everything is Gucci. And I'm like, all right, cool. But I peep wifey. 
She's getting irritated by the picture. <laughs> she's getting irritated by the picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She doesn't even notice who's behind. She never turns around. So as people are coming to take pictures, she's just naturally smiling. Oh, oh, oh. I'm looking to my, uh, to my, to my right, and I'm peeping the she people was on coming. Like, she was on a carousel. She was just... Right. So it yeah. got to a point where she was just physically tired. Right. Literally, one of like my top two favorite cousins Yeah. walked up with her husband. Yeah. And the husband came by me, mm -hmm. and my cousin came behind her. Mm -hmm. And as we trying to take the picture, wifey just blew it and said, yo, I'm physically tired of smiling. I don't want to take no more pictures at this moment. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to convince her, like, yo, like, I know who's behind her. She's looking at me like, babe, I don't give a fuck who's behind me. It could yeah. have been my mother. Right. I'm physically tired of taking pictures. Right. I had to deal with that. Yeah. You got to handle it. Of course, that. cousin wasn't feeling it. Of course. She, she talked to me on the side. I talked to her on the side. Her husband understood, though. I don't understand the audacity of talking back to me at my wedding day, though. What are you, what are we, what well, are you talking about? She didn't talk back. She just. Well, you said I, she wasn't feeling it though. She wasn't because I could tell. I know my cousin. Okay. Like I said, it's my second favorite cousin. Yeah, yeah. So I know her. So I know how she walked to the side, and the husband is talking to her like, "You got to understand, they've been doing this all day." Mm -hmm. And then I spoke to her, whatever, whatever. We was cool. We took a picture separately, and then when I told Paige who it was, she yeah. felt so fucking bad. Uh, she sent the flowers and like okay. candy and shit to apologize because she didn't know. She legit right. never turned around to see whoever took a picture with. <laughs> you can even see it on camera when we got the video back. She never turned around. Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. just like smile, boom, smile, boom. Next, smile. She, even knows, yeah, she, she don't, don't even know, know who's there. She can't get the same energy. She don't know. Right. She don't is. know who's there. Right. She don't know if that's her girl or that's her wife. Exactly. Like, so it, it was. It's, it gets weird. Weddings get weird. Stressful, weird, expensive, annoying. Expensive. <laughs> Um, <laughs> shit. Not Shall I word. continue? Yeah. Like, damn, bro. What's a, what's a what is an appropriate wedding gift? An appropriate wedding gift is at least your plate. I think that's yeah. I think that's like the. I think that's rule fair. Um, for anybody or for family or for people that just you don't everybody, know. Everybody, even including the bridal party. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> listen here. Yeah. Just because you're part of the bridal party mm -hmm. does not mean you do not have to give a gift. You're not exempt. Yeah. It is not an honor for you to be part <laughs> of our bridal party. It's an honor for us <laughs> to inviting your ass here. So follow suit. What? Period. Just saying. Because people get it fucked up. Like, yeah. yo. We d I could have done this without any of you. She wanted to do this in Vegas three years ago. People feel special. Family. People feel special when they're in the wedding, and they should. They start feeling like it's, and they it's, should. It's part of them too. It ain't about you. It's not. It's not. And remember this: it's not about you. Yeah. And I can cut you off in a second yeah. because if Shorty say you out, you out. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. No explanation. I don't even need one. Yeah. So act accordingly to all of you. But love is love. Thank or, you for or all, all the gifts sufficient. As far as what? The what you received. No. How do you feel but about those people? How do I feel about those people? <laughs> um, love is love. Love is love. Are they invited again? Well, we're doing one every five years. That's a promise we made to each other. I like that. And every five years. No. To this magnitude? It will never be this deep. Okay. No, 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 right. no, no. This one was more so because of culture, yeah. upbringing, mm -hmm. and understanding how much is not. It's not just about us mm -hmm. getting married. There's people involved. I have my mother, first son for her to get married. Yeah. My father, ten different kids, different baby mothers. I'm still the first son to get married. Yeah, That's it's different. I'm a first for a lot of people. Yeah, my wife. That's she's, kind in itself, but go ahead. No, I'm saying. <laughs> My wife is a is an only child. Yeah. So there's a lot of first here. So yeah, we yeah, understand yeah. The, 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 the gravity of the it. gravity, yeah. the significance of how the parents feel involved. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you know when parents are involved, they invite people you haven't seen since you were six years old. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was such and such. He held you when you was like six. Dog. My nigga, I don't remember Dog. this nigga, son. I don't remember this nigga. Yeah. Now he's at my wedding, smiling at me. I go, yo, you remember me? No, I don't remember you. Right. I, so now right. I have two choices: fake it. Yeah. Or just smile and take the picture. Yeah. <laughs> know what I mean? So I have to smile and take the picture. Because I ain't going to fake the love because I don't remember you. Yeah. So I don't want to... I'm I'm listening to you and I'm hearing you. And I. it's been a while since I... I mean, it's been, a, it's been off for a week. You know, maybe even two if you consider... I was just doing, 
doing music one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so oh, some some go. stuff I gotta. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Here we go. Y'all yeah, want to be messy, so bad. Hey, listen, listen. I don't like being messy uh, yeah. in my adult life with my woman. Yeah, but I yeah. love being messy outside. Oh yeah, it's a good time. But I, no, I, I can protect myself. I'm good. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I mean, I, I just want to say, you know, like again, congratulations to my dad being remarried. Right. Talk, babe. Talk to me. Like I just said, it was weird for me. Like, I, like it, it, I have like I have a delayed res- delayed response to a lot of things. I feel like like the whole time, the whole year, I'm like, all right, cool, y'all get married, life goes on. Like I know, you know, this is just the trajectory of life. You know, it's fine. Ain't no, ain't no problem. I ain't no problem with the with the uh, with the wife or anything like that. I'm like, all right, cool. The further the closer it just got, I'm just like, oh, you, that is not my mom. <laughs> you know, like I understand. You be, then, then like it hit me late. I'm like. Y'all gonna have kids? <laughs> like, like that's like a lot of stuff just started hitting me late. I'm like, damn. The after effect was delayed. Yeah, you wasn't delayed on what was going on. You know what was going on, right? But just the details and the intricacies details. of just like, yeah. oh wow, this is a a new life, like a new journey is, is about to happen. Yeah, you might have a new, younger brother soon. What? What? Put it in it. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I put a bad taste in my mouth, but like the 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 wedding, I guess is 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 for the bride. The majority of the time, maybe not on your occasion, because y'all no. be dancing, y'all be up. No, no, the wedding is be, for the but it, but it is for like ninety nine point nine percent. It's for the bride. It's for them. Even not culturally, how yeah. we how, how we do it, it's just for the bride. And that's kind of how it felt when I was there. Like I, I I I think in my head I wanted to be more of a camaraderie for everybody, to like kind of get together. Everybody kind of like on their corners, and it was eighty percent, you know, the bride's uh, family, you know, which is cool, but it's like. I I know I know my dad I know his sisters, and they all know my mom, so that even made it even more weird, because <laughs> I'm like the black sheep of just like, y'all know me y'all know our life yeah we grew up together, and it's like oh so you, wait your mom was there no my mom wasn't there okay no my mom was, I was about to ask mom, about that because uh, I told you my mom was the rain <laughs> my mom wasn't there um so and I'm not gonna say who was there <laughs> but me and my girl were there whatever and my and thank you to my i'm thankful to my girl she is very perceptive but she like she be like fighting for me which i appreciate a lot like okay. she be make like she be having attitudes for me <laughs> so i'm like she be taking on my fight so much like yeah i'm like oh shit that's or okay you just relay give me the messages whatever so you know and but it was nice to see people like it was nice to see people that's always the biggest thing like some people I I haven't seen since a funeral, which right. is not the way you wanted to do things. Right. But I was like, everybody know me because like it's it just it was like a, a constant reminder. Like yeah, I, yeah, this is my dad. He raised me. Like he may not have shot me out of his balls, but he may, but he raised me. So seeing sisters and everybody, you just like everybody know who you are. And like I know, and my mom listening right now. I know that my mom is a big part of that. Right. Of just like. Cause my mom is outgoing. She's gonna pair people up, whatever. Like she gonna be the, be the glue. Mm-hmm. You know, her and my grandfather alike. They they gonna be the glue to everything. So, so yeah, it was a lot of just like emotions, emotions. Like I was happy. I, I told I told him my mom was happy for you. Like you know, nobody got no real beef, no vendettas, whatever. But I was like, damn, this is. And it was raining too. It was like that was just like the funniest like little motif of it all. But I'm like, this is interesting. Like I I'm happy. But this is weird, <laughs> you know. Um, so I mean, it was an interesting thing. They they went to a vacation. They went. To, I think they went to Puerto Rico, something like that. Okay. So they were doing their damn thing. I got a question for you, though. Yeah, go ahead. Sound like seem like you do. Love you. <laughs> I want to get your stance on this, right? <laughs> Let's say, yeah, you know, you have friends who you are. Let's say you're not even boys, like not like Associates. type. Associates, but y'all know each other for years. Blah yeah. blah blah. Love is love. Every time you see each other, boom, yeah, boom, yeah. Boom. all that. They have a wedding. You're not invited. Mm. Cool. You take the stance of you don't feel no way. You understand how weddings go. Yeah, weddings and that's not it's not that one person's decision. Then you have yours, and you don't invite them. Well, the question is, do you would you invite them? them? Now, are you not inviting them because you're spiteful? Yes. I'm petty as fuck, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck out of here. 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 Fuck out of
fuck you thought this now was. Now when nigga. you get now when you get and to, it's still love. When you get to that realization, though, I've been petty since I was birth, nigga. No, if you what know what you do to me, I you do being to you. petty is fine. But when you realize the reason you're not inviting them as a spite. Do you feel a way about yourself? No, I feel nothing. Okay. Because <laughs> it's strictly but business. But you know that's the reason why you're not doing it's it. It's strictly business. It's not that I hate you. It's simply because you had one. Yeah. You didn't think of me. Yeah. Or if you did, but couldn't fit me in. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I had one. Yeah. And I didn't think of you. And I might have. <laughs> no, you I, thought about him. <laughs> some thought, people. You thought tonight. <laughs> well, actually, it's, it's, actually it's, a, it's a list of people. Okay. It's a list. This is about All maybe right. 15 people. All right. Now I'm saying? But I, it's I two how... that I have in mind. Yeah. But it's a list of 15 people yeah. who has had weddings. I, I know I was a fill-in. I don't know how I made the cut, but... <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, man. Listen, man. That's the thing, too. Inviting... You have to know your... You have to know the order of wh- of when you're invited. Like... and you I think, think so? And I, and I, th- I, no, I feel like... I feel like you should act accordingly. Like... Okay. If I know I'm go if I'm going to Jay Z's wedding or something like that, and I ain't his best man and like I ain't his friend and I get an invite, it's like, okay, you pay that plate. <laughs> you you do things accordingly. You don't you don't call it no waves. You like, oh, if you're gonna come, you're gonna come. Do how you do. Pay you how know, you way. Right. But like, you know, it, like like you talked about the bride it's not it's not an honor. It's like, yo, we you gotta fill some seats. Once again, <laughs> it's not an honor. We gotta fill these seats. Somebody dropped Thank out, you. somebody couldn't go. Right. Like that needs to be in your head. And and you know, don't like it's weird when people are just like and no subliminals maybe. But no. <laughs> but no, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. I'm pretty straightforward with all my friends. But you should know, part. like, yo, you was picked last on the court. <laughs> like Oh, you, see that? You should know that. For me, no. For yeah. me, you just make everybody feel special. No, I would never tell them. <laughs> I never tell them that because you don't I gotta tell them, but they should know. Well, some of them feel that. Okay. I have uh, someone who was in my groom's man. I'm not gonna say his name. Oh, but oh, he uh, felt uh, that yeah. way yeah. because of the people who I did pick. Mm-hmm. He already knew the years in. First of all, half I had ten groomsmen. Mm-hmm. Half of them were family. Blood family. Okay. Three brothers and two cousins, one younger, one older, who were like brothers to me anyway. Right. So the other five are just friends. Bro, I have over a million friends or people I actually really call brothers. Yeah. For different he things. Pop, popular, man. I have some be mad at me for it. Mm-hmm. Some got over it. Yeah. Some are still a little ah, ah, ah. Mm-hmm. And they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And yeah. my, funny, my eldest brother for the whole CSA clan for my father, um, he said to me the day I had a party at my house. I'll never forget this shit, son. I had a party for all the groomsmen just to thank them, give them little gift bags and shit. He looked at me and said, hey, yo, bro, you know I love you. And you know that you picking me or not picking me means nothing to me. Mm. I love you genuinely anyway. But what I suggest, you might want to take me out and put one of your other boys you ain't put in. I said, why? He was like, because I'm going to love you after. Mm. He's like, I'm gonna love you after. That's One of them might not. He might take this as a heartbreak, and might not I mean, want to fuck with you no more. no more. And this might break your friendship. Mm. And me being naive, I looked at him and said, "Well, no, fuck that. I ain't being naive. That's my fucking brother, yeah. nigga. If you ain't making, you ain't fucking make it. Yeah. I love you, but yeah. f- whatever. You know what I mean? But he said that, and after it happened, yeah, it dawned on me he was fucking right." It was, it was fucking right. Was Some pro- people took offense. Yeah. A yeah. lot of people took offense. A lot of people took offense, bro. A lot of people took yeah. offense. Some people felt, bro, there was people who I was think with about me that too. when like, I like met who, her. Like, who do you invite and who, do, who, you, who don't you invite? There's people who helped my relationship get to where it got to yeah. that weren't in my, my bridal party. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So some people feel a way. But they were invited. They were invited. Yeah. This wasn't part of the. Yeah. You I'm, can't be mad if you're invited, dog. Like I don't like I, to what capacity you got you gonna be mad like to me it just shows me how much like I was really like like me. I wasn't my dad's best man I know him longer than everybody else I'm my, not I'm not I'm not feeling away like yo why right next to you crazy <laughs> my youngest brother he about to one day propose yeah got baby mother with two kids you think I'm gonna be his best man no he calls me his idol all the time yeah you think I'm gonna be his best man no he's gonna pick his best friend exactly. as you fucking should as you should as you should and as you as a brother yeah. me I shouldn't feel no way right I'm not hanging with you every fucking day right you don't tell me everything like you tell your best friend right that's really your best friend so he should be your best man yes. I got you regardless right pick me or don't pick me yeah I'm gonna be fine like how yeah. my brother told me and I, that's fair 
Cause that man, that man went to the trenches with you. Probably he was like, over here serious? growing up together. You know, running from you know. Yeah. So your brother, you, you just family. You family. You bro. Family. I Y'all love, you love regardless. regardless, but you ain't going through the same stuff with. He was right though. Yeah. I should have rethought that, but how I felt. This is your uncle that said this. No, my brother. Oh, your my brother said brother. This. He's forty. Your brother did come. No, he was part of the. He was part of everything. He came to my bachelor party in Dominican Republic. What did he tell you when you when he was there? He was like, "That was right," because I told him that, "Yo, you was right." I had about uh, four okay, or five friends that. Okay. that um wasn't really feeling me, and he was like, "I was trying to protect you from that." Yeah, I've been to weddings. I've seen it happen. Mm. Blah 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 blah. I've seen he know, friends. He, he was wise. He, he took it as far as he's seen friends shoot at each other for it in the Bronx. What? Yes. Yes, because words got exchanged, and this yeah, you know New yeah. York niggas quick to say suck my dick. So yeah. once that once that word is said, that could be your man's for twenty five years. The guns come out, yeah, and then niggas started drawing. They still beaving to this day. God bless them though. Yeah. But um, God bless. He them, was man. right. He was right. I didn't. I came into this wedding thing green, bro. Mm. I swear to God, I thought I had it all figured out. And you had two of them. Two of them. Thought you had everything covered with two. Thought I had it all figured <laughs> out, bro. I was stressed, bro. Shout out to my man Ephraim. He had two weddings too. He had one I in Scotland and, and Jersey. I was stressed, bro, but it all came out good. Yeah. Shout out to the bridal party. They and came I was suited in the booty. Up. I was, I was, I was, I, I was, I definitely had previous engagements because I'm, like, I would have, I'm, like, this right there. Oh yeah, you know what? You know what? It was uh the Hove. Because I, I was my, I was my mom. I remember seeing it. I was my mom and and because I was telling her it was in it was Swedesboro. You put Hove above me. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hope did that, so hope you ain't gonna go through that. Like, hope he me. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it was in Swedesboro, right? Because mm-hmm. I was telling my mom, I was like, it's Swedesboro. She's like, that's far. I'm like, it's right around the corner from me. She's like, so you like nah, it's far. She's like, I'm like, it's right around the corner, dog. You could have brought her, too. I know. That's I, another no, thing. Well, no, she had Shout to, out to the motherfuckers who ain't show up but was paid for. Ooh. Never again. Never again. Not mad. <laughs> Not mad. Never again. But never again. Uh-uh. Not mad, uh-huh. not mad at all. I, I put a post up and everything about it. I'm not mad. The invite came from an honest place. Yeah. So I knew you deserved the invite, whether you showed up or not. It's on you. But going forward, I know what's up. I know what to invite you to and what not to. That, Mother's love. That is a template. <laughs> Some people did call and be like, "Yo, I couldn't make because ah ah ah." That's that will get you cut off real quick. You don't call me. But see, the problem is with me, <laughs> like, for I this? know a lot of the reasons why a lot of the people didn't come, yeah. they didn't have the bread. The bread to either pay their plate or the bread to get their suit or the bread to get their dress or whatever the case may be. Mm. I always present myself as the understanding friend anyway. So the fact that you couldn't have the audacity to just text me like, yo, man, look, it's hard right now. I can't afford it. Yeah. That obviously showed me where we stand in our friendship. Like, I'm the good guy. <laughs> like I'm not gonna be mad at you. You're not gonna talk to me that kind of way. Like, like yeah, yeah, I love you. Like just tell me, like yo, this ain't a good time for me. Ah 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 ah. Man, listen, man. Thank you for even reaching out. Yeah. Thank you for even taking the time out because most people don't, and I live through that. Oh, trust me. I, I still got beat for somebody to this day <laughs> because, uh, you know, we was supposed to go. We was supposed to hope make a, do a whole trip to uh New Orleans years ago. You know, I paid my shit. <laughs> Niggas, Wait what? Niggas started dropping out, whatever, and I'm and but some of them was in the group chat like, yo, I can't make it. I'm I actually only one person said that, like, and it was a good time, and it, and it was the white boy, and I'm like, you have fucking manners. It's like, okay, cool, we who, good. Who you talk to? No, nah, this was you know everything. No, everything you talking about right now is real it, matching. It, what the <laughs> fuck happened to me throughout this wedding shit? Like, <laughs> 